Gentlemans, welcome back to the shop at being pretty near the summer. I figured I'd get a jump on things, get baby doll some stocking stuffers. Desperation being the red hot smoking stepsister of necessity. And as the Duclaw says at 3 a.m., a mouth is a mouth. We got the fart heart here from the Wally Wally world. We're going to see if she's any fucking good at all. Now, I don't judge coming from the side of town with the stripper pole is made of a ABS sewer pipe. The Sam Walton's high fructose corn syrup and discount tool emporium doesn't exactly tongue-tangulate the cockles of my taint, but sometimes a cheap tool is all... Wait a second. Stop the clock. I'm taking a mulligan. Go ahead and start the clock. Now proper fixturing is essential for getting that factory finish. Hello, Husqvarna. Oh, you fucking piece of... What the fuck is wrong with you now? The electronic old chain brake was on. Oh, hitting something hard. I think that'll do. Comme quand on dit en français, on a toujours reverse. A bogo, a twofer. And that is time. Now she even come with the manual on anglais, franglais, and castellano. Rather they. Oh, don't want to mispronoun anything. I saw a fashion show like that one. It wasn't for me. But there might be young fellas watching, so we got to treat these with the proper etiquette. You start reading them manuals, next thing you know, you're admonishing guys for taking off their safety glasses to wipe the sweat from them. <laughs> you know the type. Prudence, where are you to? Always the case, never around when you need her, but you're just about to bar down a four-ton nugget out of the back. And there she is, with the job hazard assessments. What the F, yo? What happened there? No, oh, never mind. It was like that when I found it. Fucking night shift. You know the drill. Apart from a little shipping damage, it feels decent in the hand. A lot of butylene over molding. Interesting, on the terminals, they're texturized for her pleasure. In order you get some of that green death on there, when you slide it in, that'll knock all that corrosion right off. That's kind of a neat feature. She's a little bit janky, if you have a look at that. And the chuck ain't the best. It's a unlock brand. At least they ain't lying. Nice big lazy motor. The flux ring on it, big thick steel flux ring. How much to her little brain boxery? Terminal strips, gobs of solder. All the things you'd expect in a modern day tool. Yeah, they got some Solastic on these little tiny sense wires. I assume that's battery management, goes into the brain boxery to a Molex connector, and then some more uh, fixation with Solastic. A couple tiny little MOSFETs, just in a half bridge, running the forward reverse, unless it's done, might just be done here, and these are paralleled in order, might be done in the switch, and it's, they're paralleled in order to have the amp acidity. Uh, here's something I don't care for. On the negative lead into the battery, what carries all the angry pixies, we got a hang -ba dang a flyaway lead. In the logarithmic casing of the switch, you can see we have a flyback diode. This allows the collapsing magnetic field of the motor, rather than spiking the voltage and frying things over time, it just peacefully goes through the wrong direction of the diode in order to yeah, reduce that big voltage spike when you're giving her 
and you let off the trigger. Well, so this is very strange, but you know, whatever jingles your jangles, obviously uh, an accountant got involved here because uh, an engineer wouldn't do this. Look, there's no affixation for the front of the drill. So you're down on the shaft here, giving her all she's worth, all she'll suffer in the gland end, we be wobbling in the breeze. It doesn't seem to be a good way to have a happy ending. Probably give a bit of a left hand twist to her. You see that? No screws at all. 18 volts, just a factory jelly bean. Just buy from the usual scumbags and stick her on there into a nylon gear casing. Didn't splurge on any colorization for that PA66. Yeah, what you'd typically find in every drill. A planetary gear set, double reduction, with the gear shifting on the outside ring gear. You have the gear set stack up. We can see we go from high speed, low torque, as we work through the ratios into lower speed, high torque, on account that's quite a bit larger than the inside, so it can take quite a bit more torque. These are all metal injection molded parts, except for that ring gear. What changes the velocitad? It is nylon. And we got the clutch in the usual way with the detents and the balls going over a ramp. A little bit mushy, kind of what you'd expect. The chuck itself is pretty scabby. Got metal injection molded jaws. And you can see the sprue lines of the mold lines been ground off just with a, well, it looks like they've been ground off by a dull apprentice. Now we'll get this back together, test it out. I really don't care for the no, this gland flopping in the breeze. That's a deal breaker for me, but we'll test it for the price of it. The combo kit, 129 Kanaki stand Copex with the one batteria. I saw at the homeless death spot, you can buy the DeWilt name brand, you know, prosumer created tool with two batteries and a proper charger, 169, you know, 40 bucks in the difference. I'll show you this, but I couldn't get it back together. So I had to take it apart. There's the clutch, the balls, and the huh for the he, uh -huh, like so. The balls gotta go up and over in order to uh, de-clutch. Uh -oh. We are going to have to trust in the miraculous healing powers of the healing bench. I'm missing some parts I dropped somewhere. And I'm sure they'll turn up at some point. The thing is about these, I'm sure they'll drill a perfectly serviceable hole, however, I kind of like a little bit of style in my tools. I'm a tool, I like tools. I like tools. So when you get one, it doesn't even have a fastener to go fix it. You know, yeah, come on, come on. You know you'd be reefing on this and it'd be going all sidewards on you. Looking like a old limp dick. Speaking of which, when a tool is just too big, you gotta call for another tequila shot. <laughs> Why is this so bloody long? Look at the size of her. Wah. You know you're going to be banging the sides. Uh, the battery being realistically the most important component of the whole works. We'll have a look at the cells inside. Ah, uh -huh. now the battery is markedly higher construction values and design than the tool itself. We have a polycarbonate ABS plastique. FR40, that's a fire resistant rating. And polycarbonate is a very tough impact resistant. That's what your safety squints are made of. I mean the plastic ones, not the built in ones. Lithium cells themselves, ICR 18650, 15P. I have to assume that that's 100 and, or 1,500 milliamp hours. Yep, 1.5 ampere hours. I get the feeling that Mr. Walmart ain't making these in his basement. Well, it's a sorry, getting a, a supplier somewhere, and I would assume 
you get the same exact thing off the basil mart hot and ready in your lap you even got the smell of offshore smell of shrimp ramen packets as a bonus and you likely get it cheaper so unless you find these on a screaming sale there's no real cost benefit to buying them if you're looking for that cheap yet fair to middling grade of tool i'd be looking at you know the kind of ryobi or an on sale dewalt or on sale lower grade milwaukee you know kind of a name brandy kind of thing Oh my god. I've been charging this battery since I've been doing the teardown. It's been charging my on an hour. And furthermore, there's no battery indicator on here. You don't know the state of her chooch. The slow charge, that's a total deal breaker. So thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a voice.